Okay, I'd like to walk you through uh, setting up the Arduino IDE so you can use it with this, uh, this microcontroller. So when you go to this website here, you'll see this file. If you scroll down, it talks about the uh, features, what it can do, and here's a pin connection diagram that we'll use. Um, I think the most important thing is going to be 3.3 is the operating voltage. So if you feed more than that in, like if you feed 5 volts into one of these other pins, you're most likely to damage the chip. So we don't want to do that. The 5 volts that we have here comes from the USB cable. And we might use it for some, some uh, circuitry, but generally we want to stay away from that. Um, also, I'll just mention a few other things. We do have a uh, I2C um, network set up here, SDA, SCL, so we're going to stay away from those. We have a TXRX for a standard serial interface, so we have that as well. We also have this uh, SPI interface, these dark green connectors. Uh, we might use that. Uh, the problem is we, we kind of need, we need some uh, I.O. connections, so we're going to reserve the SDA SCL because we have a touch screen or a screen that will communicate over that network. Uh, also, analog zero, A0, is a, a true voltage output uh, rather than a uh, pulse width modulated output. So if I would like to generate a two volt signal, I can basically tell it to give me two volts and it will do that. So we'll use the analog output in some of our projects. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep this pin available as well. Uh, so we scroll down a little bit further. Um, one thing I'll mention right here, the RST, sometimes the, the module, the microcontroller, it could lock up. It locked up on me one time when I was trying to do something it couldn't do. And what you do is you take a jumper wire and you short these two pins out and you're able to go, go back into programming mode. Uh, and, and they describe that as you go further down this website. In fact, here it is right here. Uh, they're showing how to reset it if it does lock up. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Uh, they have some sample programs that you can you can copy the text and paste it into the Arduino Arduino program. Uh, so they have some sample code here to to make it do certain things. Uh, here's the analog read instruction, which is uh, for the hot values or a four to twenty input things like that. Uh, serial we probably will use the uh, um, the built-in pop-up monitor, the serial monitor, we might use that on occasion. I2C, okay, so they give us an example of that. SPI, analog I.O., so this is a really nice uh, wiki that talks about the microcontroller. So what I'm getting at, I'm scrolling, I'm still scrolling, uh, there is one this section right here called getting started. Okay. In Arduino, if you're not already familiar with it, uh, we have a, a board manager and the board manager needs this uh, website address in order to download uh, the, the specifics about this board. So here's where you type that in. You basically copy this and paste it in the preferences. So there's a, there's a, uh, place to type in additional external addresses, and that's where you type it in or paste it in. When you say OK, you go to the board manager, and you'll scroll down to the very bottom, and it should be the last one on the list, and you'll install that. So this kind of walks you through this. Um, then you can select the uh, microcontroller. You want to plug it in and see a COM port come up. Once you see all that, you're ready to download programs to it, and, and they literally walk you through all these steps. So I just wanted to show you where this was so that you could get a step-by-step -step and, uh, and get, get started successfully.